Hello, this is uh, day one of our uh, daily devotions and what I want to do today is I want to talk to you about your destination. Where are you going? What is your destination? I want to read to you from Philippians chapter 3 and verse 20 which says, For our citizenship is in heaven from which we also wait for a savior. Where are you going? What is your destination? You know, it reminds me when uh, Marlene and I first went on our first missionary journey to Zambia and we had to fly over to uh, London, England. We landed at Heathrow and when we got there we were uh, not sure what was going to happen but we were told that somebody would be there to meet us. So we got there, we arrived, we looked around and sure enough there was an officer coming to meet us and as we uh, greeted each other and we had all of our suitcases and we we're getting ready to leave and I figure we're gonna go out into the parking lot and into his car because I know and I was concerned because I know the cars there are very small but we each had two very large suitcases because we were going for four years so we had a lot of clothes with us so as we're walking uh, through the airport he stops and he pulls out this uh, what looked to me like a big road map and I watched him for a bit and he's going through all of this and uh, we're not getting out of the airport and finally I went over to him and I said uh, do you know where we go or where we're going what is our destination and he says oh yes we're going down to headquarters downtown but he says we're not going by car we're going by the tube now if you know anything about London the tube is their subway system so I said oh okay he says all we have to do is get the right color code on the wall and I said, what's this? I said, never been there before. So he says, yeah, everything is marked by these color codes and I have to find the right one to where we're going. So I have to figure out what our destination is to get the right color. So we, after a while, we, um, we got it and off we went. And this um, officer said, you know, it, it's quite easy once you get to know it. And it got me thinking, you know, about our destination. Our destination, of course, is heaven. And I think it is quite easy and how we're going to get there and that's what we're told in Philippians chapter 3 for our destination is in heaven it says our citizenship is in heaven from which we also wait for a Savior isn't it wonderful to know that when we leave this earth when all this stuff is over with and everything is taken care of we have a destination to go to and God promises us that he's going to look after us and he's going to be there for us. So Paul reminds us, as I say, that our destination in heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's the simple code that you need to get into heaven. You don't look, need to look for some special markings on the wall. You just have to believe in God, believe in the Savior, believe in Jesus Christ, and our destination is in heaven. You know, even though we went through London and everything was okay, and I had a bit of apprehension and concerns about this whole thing because this fellow actually got us lost part way through, but God promises us he's not going to lose us. He's going to look after us, and his promises are sure and certain and forever. So if you wonder about your destination, look at Ephesians chapter five, uh, 3, verses 20 and it tells us quite clearly where our destination is let's pray together father god we do thank you for this time we can share together in this moment of prayer we thank you lord that you have promised us a destination and that we can live through this life we can live through the challenges of day to day but we don't have to be worried we don't have to be troubled our destination is prepared for us so bless us as we gather together this day through your Holy Spirit. Amen.